Oh, the, we're fucking. What? Goody, it's your boy Rhino, aka. It's not the, the burp, is not the um. It's your boy Rhino, aka. I'm about to start wearing overalls now. And it's your boy Rob, aka Thrift God. Thrift God. God. Okay. And that leads us into the content for today. So, the boys today, Rob, Rhino, and Noah Boat, went to ThriftCon oh. at the LA Convention Center. It was Rob's idea. Yeah, I had no idea what that I was. I wanted to go to ThriftCon and then I woke up today, Sunday, da -da, I went to the gym and then I was like, whoa, ThriftCon's today, we should go. So right so, after Rob and I were pumping iron, we were like, let's bounce out. So, so we went and pretty successful, I might say. Yeah, I think I got some really cool stuff. You know when you buy something really cool and then you put it on and then it's not cool anymore? It's just me. Like your overall? That's <laughs> good. <laughs> Can I talk to so you? We all Can I talk to you for a minute? I'm sorry? Can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah. Just for the, because you can't be seeing that stuff in the box, like making fun of me. Um, one minute, guys. Just one minute. Camera's off. <laughs> what was like? What? Why did you? What was that? Because you were like talking about like how it didn't look good, and then I, I looked over and it didn't really look good on you. So I was like, I okay, thought you were. I thought you were talking about the overall. Okay. Yeah, I know, but like, dude, it's my first time wearing overalls. Like, you know, I mean, I, I'm just trying out my style. I'm trying to find my style, dude. So don't call me out in front of everybody. Okay. Alright, dude. I'm sorry. I didn't know you you felt that way about your overalls. Okay, you can say it to me, but like, um, like just outside or something. Like, don't say it in front of everybody. Okay, sorry. I'm not saying anything about your muscle t-shirt. Uh, dude, because you know I'm trying. I'm experimenting. Don't. You, why would you fault me for experimenting? But I was thinking like if they didn't fit you and if you don't want them, maybe you can give them. To okay, me. well we can do that in the video. But just don't. We don't need to bring this energy into the thing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're back. We're back. <laughs> Okay. And now we're gonna do some unboxing and show you all like a little we're like a girl. We're doing like a U-Haul 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 <laughs> Wait a second, was canceled. wait a second. <laughs> he said you bruh like the truck I think what Noah meant to say was we're gonna do a try on haul. He said try that. on haul <laughs> This man said a U-Haul. Ah uh. <laughs> It's okay But we all got some stuff so um, we're gonna show you guys. I didn't get that much stuff, not as much as them. And here's the thing, you guys are going to decide who got the drippiest drip. Um, who got the best piece, and then who got just the best stuff in general. Okay, starting with Ryan. All right guys, so your mission is to decide who got the best stuff, so we're gonna start with the best stuff. Let's just start, I'll just lay them out here on the table real quick. First piece, we have the Cactus Jack uh, tour merch, right, Rob? This is um, Travis Scott. Sure. Next one, we got the Supreme. Uh, just plain, not really vintage, not really thrift, but the Supreme shirt, Supreme Incorporated. The red Marine shirt. You guys know I'm going into the Marines uh, after our channel. So what? I would never do that. <laughs> this one. Mount Rushmore, except it's the little Disney characters. Thought that was cool. You don't know what show that is, though. What show this is? Yeah. Yeah, of course I don't. Bruh. Mm. Wow. What show is it? Animaniacs. Is that really what it's called? Yeah. I'm one of the, I'm called a poser, so like that's. <laughs> um, this one? Oh, wait a minute. Lucas. Lucas? From? From the movie. 1980s. You're familiar with it, right, Rob? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. That's what I thought. <laughs> All right, this one. Hold on now. This might be one of my favorites. Are they having a party downstairs? Yes, yeah. they are. There's a whole function going outside. I hear some loud bass. <sighs> We're doing. We're filming a vlog. This is Lola Sir vlogs up here. Come on. Ah, jeez. This one. Yeah, Ryan saw me looking at it, and then I said it was too Look big for me, this. so I didn't have it. Look at the wildlife wraparound. That's hard. Another one of my favorites. Ooh, England. A little England. England is my city. You guys know. And the color stays popping. What the? I just like how it's probably gonna fit me perfect. So that little vintage England joint. Uh, these two hats. Red Sox. Washington Nats. Flip, finally, flip a Nationals hat. Now you can. Rip. Now I can finally. See, now I'm bald too. I don't know if y'all could. Oh. <laughs> so once, did I get, side effects. once I get like some hair and stuff and I can start rocking this hat, but I know this I was excited about this t-shirt I saw on Depop. Oh, I used my mom made me watch that show. 
Oh, this joint? Yeah, I Love Lucy. Uh, I never seen this in 1950s. Life. Um, I saw this on Depop and somebody bought it before I did. And this is the exact one I wanted. So, yeah. Boom. Thought that was cool, cool graphics. Super soft t-shirt. Could wear this. Oh. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's pretty soft. <laughs> uh, just, I don't know, quirky. <laughs> Ooh. We got the dream, the dream team. team. USA dream team. Boom. Scotty Pippen, Michael Jordan. I have another Dream Team shirt, I think. It's like very expensive. Uh, a little vacation vibe. Thought I had a nice kind of material to it. And you're in LA, so the weather might be good some days. Exactly. Rock that. A little tropical theory. Uh, this one spoke to me. A little polo dog beer looking thing. Oh, yeah, because Ryan's a big beer guy. Mm -hmm. Big beer. He loves beer. Love beer. Beer, IPA, just drinking every... Bud Light, yeah. Post Malone. Bruh. So. Got that. Thought it was quirky. You know, I never seen nobody wear that. Ooh. Seems to be a little custom thing. So what's your favorite Disney movie? You got a lot of Disney vibes going on. A lot on. of Disney. Um, I actually hate Disney, to be honest. Never. I was like a Nickelodeon kid. I didn't. Were you a Disney kid? Disney yeah, I really was. Nickelodeon or Disney? Um, Disney. Ah. Oh. I didn't watch but Disney. See, I watched Nickelodeon too, but like I was just surrounded. My sisters really. That's the Disney. same thing. I was. Like, this is, yeah. I was just. I was forced to watch it. Disney. Like Zach and Cody. Is that the thing yes, called? Yes, sweet yeah. life of Zach and Cody. Yeah. I have never seen one episode of that. Wow. 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 London Tipton. London Tipton. Come on. Um, this at the thrift con. Um, thrift con. Travis Scott, Reese's Puffs. Uh, I don't really like Travis Scott. Nor do I like Reese's Puffs, but the guy just threw it in with one of my purchases. So I was like, all right, all right cool. I, is that cool to y'all? It's kind of cool. I think I'll put it in my room. Yeah. Is it expired? It definitely. Oh. 03 September 2020. Wait. No. Let's, try some. Let's try some. All right, we'll show us your last shirt. I don't think I want to. <laughs> Ooh. I just like the color on it. Um, the Beverly Hillbillies. The Hillbillies. Little khaki joint. All right, best for last. Here we go. I wouldn't even say best for last. This is just what I bought. Okay, let's open this up. You stupid. Thanks, Rob. What would you do without me? Yeah. Boom. Supreme little Asian lamp lantern. I'm sure it has a name. And this thing. Look at these. These are good. This little metal thing to go with it. Look at that. Perfect. And Rob, where do these go? Sure. Um, I think they... What is this? So, that's my stuff. What do you guys think? I, I think my Sorry favorite... My favorite thing might have to be... Damn, this is all kind of fire, though. <laughs> Damn, fire, fire. This one, the I Love Lucy, the Umbro, and honestly, this one, the little wildlife thing. I think it was my favorite, so those three. All right, Rob, you up. Now time for some real clothes. Get out of here. How <laughs> <laughs> did you get a Supreme Lantern, though? My lighting's gonna be Supreme in my room. Even though I had no intentions of making this thing light up, but whatever. Okay, whatever. That so I'm a simple guy. All I got were just shirts. Okay. Bring Tuffy back. Starting off, cool little radio head. Nice little shirt, good quality. Eh. Got this, uh... Marlboro, you're a big cigarettes guy. Um, big cigarettes guy. Smoke half I don't day. know what you're gonna say about that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't smoke cigarettes and I don't condone it, but I thought the shirt was cool. Lexus. You know, like the, you know, the car, Lexus thing. Oh, that's cool. Cool little vibe. Let me see Another little shirt here. I like this one because it felt cool and loose and it was all ripped up. Miller Lite. Beach volleyball, because you know, I'm a big beach volleyball guy. <laughs> Beer and beach volleyball. <laughs> Beer, beach volleyball, good combo. Uh, cool little Nike vintage. Come on now, that's pretty hard. Okay, okay. A little Betty Boot, Betty Boot. Ooh, she do. Boop, boop, be -do boop. She light skin? She might be light skin in this one, but uh, <laughs> you know, it's just a vibe because I'm uh, big into cartoons and stuff. This Tupac criminal internet movie. You stupid. Pretty cool. Very rare. Oh, I was born in September 1997.
It criminal intent. I'm so sorry. Edit that. Edit to him saying criminal internet out. That way he doesn't get flamed. Ha! Ooh. 1992. You got USA. this dream team? I saw that. I like that one. Oh, just an inch. Oh, I got that one. You guys are some big basketball guys. Yeah, big basketball. Look at that. Um, SunWest Bank. Because, you know, uh, money and stuff. <laughs> Gotta chase the money. Bruh. <laughs> SunWest Bank. Alright. It's cool. I, this one's super cool. Like, if you close your eyes and look the other way, it looks cool. Ooh. Yeah. Watch, I'm gonna wear it and Ryan's gonna be like, oh, that's kind of hard. <laughs> yeah, I'll see. Wildlife. Because, you know, I care for animals and stuff, so. Got this, I thought it looked really cool. Stop police brutality on black people. I respect. I respect. I respect. Ryan, see, respect, this is why man. we're friends. Dude. Bruh. This one's cool. Oh, the Beatles. Beatles. The Beatles. Beatles, and that's pretty much it. That's all I got. Every piece I got was pretty cool. Um, my favorite though, the Beatles and this one, Radiohead. But yeah, that concludes me. On to no. All right, on to me. Uh, last but least. Bruh. Wait, was it? Last <laughs> but not. <laughs> last but least. <laughs> First I said, we're throwing our U-Haul today, and now I said last but least. Guys, my brain is so off. So I started with this LA hat. Bruh. This is Ryan's, I think. You got a lot of stuff there. Yeah, guys, I'm not uh, not really like a big thrift guy, like Rob and Ryan. Like, they've gone to thrift stores before, done this and that. I have my own style, and they have their own style. But going to these places, I can still find these one rare gem pieces. And I went there, and I found some cool stuff. First shirt I got, I just saw this. It was just a cool tie-dye shirt with the popping colors. And you know I'm a man of colors. I've spiced up my closet with a lot of loud choices. So I'm going to put some like uh, black pants or white pants and let the shirt speak for itself. So that's a nice vibe. This thing is probably what Ooh. I'm really happy about. This is just this cool pattern sweater. And I didn't know this brand was called... Coogie? When I asked it, I saw this, I was like, Coogie. Coogie. Coogie sweater. Guys, I'm very off today. <laughs> um, I blame I blame my science effects. Yes, and so I got this, I was like, yeah, man, I saw some other patterns around here. Guy was like, you saw more patterns? Nah, we the only one with Coogie over here. And I was like, Coogie? I was like, my bad, dude. Yeah, yeah I, was I was just like, like the colors. I, I saw the patterns, I was like, I like the colors. Uh, is this a, what brand is this? It's Coogie, you don't know what that is? And I was like, I didn't. Apparently it's like an old 70s vintage brand and it's like been around and it's really popular. But there was this only one just stuck with all these other vintage shirts. So I tried it on, fit perfectly. I thought it was gonna itch, it didn't. And now I'm a guy of many pants. I love different styles, pants and stuff. This place didn't really, this was more of like t-shirts and jackets, but the, I found this cool little custom pants and you know, it was enough for me to be like, oh, why not? So, I don't know, this guy just had this cool little cult pattern just sewed on here. Um, and I was like, yeah, why not? Since there was no other pants at the other place, I was like, I'll get the same ones again and just a whitewash. These are the, so these are bones. Yeah, so, so it's, it's a skeleton. Atomically correct. Bruh. Do you know the name of his, these bones here? Femur. That's all I know. This Femur is, is the biggest bone in the body. This is known as your ischiotuberosity. Damn, I'm gonna throw a person head time. It's whatever. Comment down below what the other bones of these pants are. <laughs> I'll give you a shout out if you know all the bones. This one just said one size fits all. I said, okay, hopefully it fits. <laughs> it was. <laughs> the t shirts work? The, I, I, it literally says. One size. <laughs> so everyone puts on it like shrinks to them. Look, look that something, something Indiana Jones, but <laughs> it looked Japan to me, so I don't know. It had a cool little structure to it. And then again, I saw this little race car, oh. with a McDonald's themed That's Ford dope. car. That's dope. NASCAR guy. Yeah. Bill Elliott. Bill Elliott. He's the um, number one U.S. guy. Bruh. And then I just wanted some more colors, so I saw the purple. Uh, my family used to watch this movie all the time. It was called the Brady Bunch movie. It started as a show and it's a movie, but I just saw I thought it honestly was gonna say Good Burger when I flipped it around, but Oh, those <laughs> are the Good Burger colors. It is the exact Good Burger colors. But I already have a Good Burger shirt. And now I have a Brady Bunch movie shirt. Ooh. There's that. This one, I have no brown in my collection. So I saw this. I saw a little soda theme with some food. Oh, I was like, That's fresh. Wait a minute. Said, Wait a second. Super size. This is the movie Super Size. Wait, Super this is Size. Hard. Yeah, this is the movie that we had to watch in middle school. Yeah. The guy that ate McDonald's for a 30 day breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, Frank. Yeah. This is hard. Thanks. Yeah. Don't yeah, be surprised yeah. if it goes missing. No, it's, what happened to my Super Size? Show? Where did the Super Size? <laughs> Me, like, I don't know. Chilling <laughs> with it on, naked. <laughs> Nothing like, else with that. He's naked. He's like, rubs <laughs> it all over himself. You still want it? No, I was like, what's my Super Size shirt doing in your closet? Huh? Oh, <laughs> I ordered another one online. <laughs> and then there was like 20 minutes left. I don't know. I just saw this 
saw this shirt the texture look kind of cool felt like a jersey vibe but not a jersey and in this the only designer piece that i wasn't looking for was just there some old ass gucci um it looks kind of small but i feel like it'll fit so this is a Gucci little sweater. Pause. <laughs> and then there are these pants that were so ridiculous that I was like, you know, I, I said, <laughs> you know, I'm going to just cop these. And I've never had a structure like this. So if you look down here, it looks like I have a nice carpet for it. I thought you had a carpet. <laughs> I said, oh, a throw rug. <laughs> like, it, it looks like a rug. A tapestry. And then when you open it up, it's um, a pair of pants. Wait a minute. <laughs> Whoa, I ain't never you like, before. But like, it was so not pant material. I was like, I'm gonna get them. They were the only ones there by themselves. It was like 34. Only size? One pair? I said, I'll get it. So, wow. no idea how to rock these. I don't even know if you're allowed to wear a plain shirt with this or if I have to go like full Spanish mode or something. <laughs> Bruh. I don't know. But I will find a cool top to match this and can't even wear sneakers with these. I feel like you have to have some cool moccasins or sandals. But it was so different. But it doesn't even look like bad. Yeah, no. It's like it's lit. the colors look cool. It doesn't look like a what you call it tacky. You could tell thought and effort was put into that. And whoever was able to take that material and turn them into pants, props to you. Obviously, I'm a shoe guy, so went and copped some two pairs of shoes. Got ugh, the 2019 Bread Elevens. Uh, I used to have the. 2015 ones back in high school, but um, I, I sold those because I was in this time when I would buy shoes, sell shoes, and they were my rotation, so I ended up selling them. And I was like, damn, I always wanted them again. And so, saw these, and I was like, Fuck yeah. But these are the new 2019, so they're, the material and everything is not as cool. It looks a little cheaper, but. That's my question. How? Because they keep coming out yeah. with like the same model. Yep, they just keep re, re releasing them for the new generation. So, are they getting less expensive? Like, are there, is there like a 1997 Bread 11? Yeah, there are. Yeah. Okay. And those ones, honestly, the older pairs are always the best. The newer pairs are always, the material is not as up to date. But because they're always sold out or you have to pay thousands of dollars for that old pair. And Jordan's like, let's just resell them again for retail and then people will go buy them. Mm. And that's what happened. But nonetheless, I'm start, I feel like I'm going to end up collecting all the 11s because recently I just found myself liking them a lot. They've probably, the, to me, one of the most comfortable Jordans. And, ah. Uh, Space Jam, the whole Space Jam movie, Michael Jordan, iconic. And then I saw these Air Force One Cactus Jacks. So I think this could be the Travis Scott. I'm probably gonna get roasted real quick. Cactus Jack, isn't that? Yeah. That's, that's Travis Scott, okay. So these are the Travis Scott Air Forces. They had this weird thing attached to the shoelaces. And I said, oh hell no, I'm not wearing that. Uh, this originally came on top of these. <laughs> and I said- Is that hard? I'm trying to decide if it's hard enough. I mean, to each his own. Me, I was like, why would you want to block off all this cool extra design and the cool purple laces? So I made the guy personally take them off and, and retie the shoes for me. But to somebody else, you could wear them. But I, I don't have that many Air Forces or uh, Air Force shoes at all. So I was like, cool, this whole color vibe. Don't go with the carpet shoes, but they're just out there. And you know, that's what I'm down to, to experiment with some new, new stuff. So that's all I got. As you can see, we all have our three different tastes and different flavors. But I like these. They are. I might need to get these. How much are these? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the guy gave it to me for seven fifty, but they're reselling for a thousand. Wow. So, because I bought the bread elevens, he was like, "All right, if you get both, I'll drop that to seven fifty. First time customer, I'll take off two fifty for you. I'm like, "Yeah, yeah you probably say it to every person. So <laughs> every person probably gets these yeah. for seven fifty. Whatever. These are hard like this. But yeah, man. So I'm super happy with what I got. It was cool. Shout out to Rob for having the idea of let's go to ThriftCon. And yeah, you know guys, sometimes you just have to experiment and go, go new places with your friends and just see what happens. Cause it's all about these memories. And yep. also my pocket in bank kind of went down a little bit today, but it doesn't matter. We're not spending $1 in 2020. No. Matter. Cause we're gonna go, the channel's gonna go to 10 million next year. So we're all thrifted out. Uh, yeah. Obviously, I haven't ate all day. Bruh, <laughs> I have a problem. I need to. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow, everything starts. Up. We're tomorrow. we're doing a real serious diet. To, di I say diet. People, when you hear diet, you think less food. We eating a lot of food. Just but no sugar, no carbs. For the first ten days, we're doing no sugar, no carbs to restart mm -hmm. our metabolism and stuff. 
It's going to be good for us. So. Or insulin. It's going to be a challenge, but we're going to stick with it. And we now have the uh, the fashion to get us through. Exactly. If we didn't have this, there would be no way we would be able to get through this diet. <laughs> exactly. Because it's good. And you run your stuff. And you feel good. And <laughs> your body starts to... And you don't need the sugar. It's just kind of sweet. What the... F yeah, but life is all about um, happiness and doing what makes you happy. Yeah, and the reason why I like thrifting so much, and I'm pretty sure that we all do, is you cannot go to... The store and oh wait, not that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go to the store and buy like this. You know what I mean? Like if you wear one of these shirts, there's a good possibility that no one is gonna have them, and that that's what makes you stick out and be unique. Mm -hmm. And that's why I like it so much. And you think about all the popular people and cool people, like celebrities and stuff. They wear the stuff that nobody else has. Like yeah. they have their own unique style. And this is how you find. And this and we <clears throat> are trying to be that. We're not just going. Oh, the new off white. Yeah, Ugh, you know. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed our um, thrift U-Haul. And... <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> and let us know what you thought. Yeah. And totally. now, when you see us posting with these pic with these different things, you'll know where we got it from. Yeah, and you'll see my Supreme lamp in the thing. What is that thing called? Uh, Supreme China lamp. I think isn't it Japanese or something? I don't think so. Oh, is it not? I think it's Asian though. It's it's Asian. It's Asian. Definitely like a paper lamp, like that's kind of like where it kind of originated, I think. Maybe y'all could tell us. <laughs> y'all could look it up real quick on Google. And, <laughs> I know what it is, blah, blah, in the comments. Subscribe to the vlog channel. If you guys we going up. up. We going up. You guys are part of the family that's going to 10 million subs by the end of the year. And you guys are the first ones here. And shout out to the people that we met at, at uh, not Comic Con. Uh, Thrift Con. Thrift Con. <laughs> yeah, we met a few people. There was yeah. a little bit of fan yeah. love. Shout out. Love y'all. Yeah, we were at ThriftCon and I met one of you guys and came up to him. Yo, it's like, Nobo? I was like, yo, what's up, bro? What's your name? He just stares at me. I look at him. I'm like, you wanna get a picture, man? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what I, should they do if, some, if someone meets, sees us in public? What should they do? Wanna, if you address me as my name, okay, either you're gonna start the conversation or I think you want a picture. I don't know. Just, I would yeah. rather have had a cool conversation with this kid. But he was looking at me in like awe, and I was like, okay, cool. Maybe he wants to pick. Nah. Ooh. So he just said your name and nothing else. Up. Yo, Rhino. And I was like, yo, what's up, Dude, man? What's, what's up? your name? What's up, man? What's your name? And he just says nothing. Looks, says nothing. And then he's just staring at you. So I was like, oh, cool. You want to get a picture? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> <laughs> he did, so he didn't want to talk. All he wanted to do was just let me know that I'm no book. Thanks, man. Uh, you know, oh, wait. I got one more thing. Ah! Uh, I forgot. Uh, cause Ryan's room, as you guys see in the vlog, his room's the best. It looks cool. We know. But me and Rob, me and Rob are slowly adding decorations. Yeah. I got this cool painting. Ooh. Uh, what's her name? Betty Bop. Betty Boop. Betty Boop. I don't even know who she is. So, anyways, I saw this, and um, I got this other pink painting from Complex Con. So I was like, cool. I have something to compliment it with. So yeah. Last little thing I got at ThriftCon. Shout out ThriftCon. Dope. But yeah, what I have to say, um, I just hope you guys are doing well in school. I think it's Christmas break right now. For mm -hmm. And if you guys don't celebrate Christmas, at least you're off of school for two weeks. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Or five days. The, the districts have changed it. Sometimes they take away the break completely and give kids like three days. I don't know. But hopefully you guys have some long break. But just good luck in school. Do your homework. And if you have a passion, work on it every day after school. Because that's what me and Ryan did when we were in college. And now we have a whole YouTube channel. So. And then you can blow a bunch of money on thrift clothes. Yeah. And then again, thrift clothes aren't that expensive, so you should be buying that anyway. What's that? What's that Richard Kid line? F up a check, I don't care. Some, I don't know. Some brand. I don't know. We're hungry. Um, that's it. <laughs> Rob, Rob's really hungry. He's not ate all day. I was like, can we finish it? All right, we're done now. All right, we're done. All right see y'all next time. Bye. All right, bye. Boy, signing out. Boop.